Hey there, welcome back. In this video, I want to talk about how I've been using bases in Obsidian to navigate my vault. In the last video, I talked about how I set up different note types in Obsidian and then configured my bases so that I could have different views based on the note type. So I set up bases to have a view for personal, have a view for work, and I thought it was pretty cool that it could kind of automatically organize my vault for me. And in this video, I want to talk about once I have all that set up, how do I then navigate my vault, right? How do I find the notes that I'm looking for and then open them up? And I think there's a pretty, a pretty cool way uh, to make things very simple and easy uh, to navigate your vault. So let's jump in and I'll show you. All right, so I'm pulling up my Stardust Vault, which is kind of my test vault that I've been playing with and showing you guys a few things in Obsidian. And you can see right now I'm on my base. So this base has all of my notes in the whole vault and I've separated them out by personal and work. And here's my different view. I have all notes, personal and work. And so the personal view is gonna give me just the personal notes and the work view is gonna give me just the work notes. Obviously all notes is all of the notes in the vault. So when I'm using Obsidian, one of the things I do is I collapse this side panel, right? Because I'm not really using this at all uh, to navigate. And really I'm using these different views in my base. So I don't need to see that. And this gives me a little more screen real estate once I collapse that. So one of the things that I wanted to do when I got started with this base view was I wanted to open up a new note side by side. And you can do that. In Windows, you hold down the Control key and the Alt key when you click a link. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold down Control and Alt and click Family Members. And so that opens up the note side by side. So I have my base over here on the left side and now I have my note over here on the right side and I can you know, update this note if I want to. I can close this note and it brings me back to my base, taking up the full screen. So if I wanted to open up the next note, let's say I want to open up shopping, again, hold down control and alt, that'll open it up to the right side in a new tab, make your updates and close it. But what I was thinking was, wouldn't it be cool if I just clicked the links and they kept opening on that right side? And so if I hit control and alt and open up family members, you see my idea was now if I want to open up shopping, I would just come down here and click shopping. Now, if I don't hold control and alt and click shopping, it, it takes me all the way out of my base. You see, it doesn't even, my base is gone. I have to hit the back button to go back to my base. So that, that's not exactly what I wanted. Now, if I hold Control and Alt and try to open up shopping, well, now I've got a third panel uh, and, and that's gonna be too confusing for me. I definitely don't want three panels, I just want two. I want the left side to be my base and the right side to be whatever note I've clicked on. Well, it turns out you can do that and there's a trick to it. The trick is you have to pin your base. So let me close this and I'll close this as well. Now, if you come up here to the tab and right click, there's a pin option. And so that pins this tab. You'll see the purple pin up here on the right side. So now if I were to come down here and click a link, family members, for example, you'll see it opens a new tab. It doesn't take over the basis tab where I have to click back. Uh, it opens a new tab because I've pinned that base tab. But what's really cool is now if I hit control alt, click family members. Now I have my right panel open again. But now whatever link I click over here on the left side, so if I click shopping and I'm not holding down control or alt this time, I'm just clicking it, it takes over that right side panel. So I think that is pretty cool. And this is usually how I have my Obsidian set up when I'm using it to navigate my different notes. So I can come down here, I can click whatever links I want to. I can go to the different views over here on the left side as I work through and navigate different things. Uh, maybe I'll open up this and it opens up always in that right side. So that's the trick. Number one, you have to pin your base. Number two, you have to split your screen by using control plus alt when you open a link. That splits your screen. Then after that, you can click whatever links you want to and it'll always open on that right side. So that's all for this video. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about using bases to navigate your Obsidian Vault? And do you use split screen? Let us know. Well, thanks for watching. 
Have a good one.